Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. When I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died, my richest gain I count but loss, and poor contempt on all my pride. Forbid it, Lord, that I should boast, save in the death of Christ my God. The vain delights that charm me most, I sacrifice them to his blood. See from his head, his hands, his feet, what grief and love flow mingling down. Did e'er such love and sorrow meet, or thorns compose such rich a crown? Or all the realm of nature mine, that were a present far too small. Love so amazing, so divine, demands my soul, my life, my all. They insulted me and filled me with dread, but the Lord was at my side like a mighty warrior. Hear this, all you peoples. Give heed all who dwell in the world, both men low and high, rich and poor alike. My lips will speak words of wisdom. My heart is full of insight. I will turn my mind to a parable. With the harp I will solve my problem. Why should I fear in evil days the malice of the foes who surround me? Men who trust in their wealth and boast of the vastness of their riches? For no man can buy his own ransom or pay a price to God for his life. The ransom of his soul is beyond him. He cannot buy life without end, nor avoid coming to the grave. He knows that wise men and fool, fools m must both perish and leave their wealth to others. Their graves are, are their homes forever, their dwelling place from age to age, though their names spread wide through the land. In his riches man lacks wisdom. He is like the beast that are destroyed. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. They insulted me and filled me with dread, but the Lord was at my side like a mighty warrior. Deliver me, Lord, and place me at your side. Then let whoever will lift his hand to strike me. This is the lot of those who trust in themselves, who have others at their beck and call. Like sheep they are driven to the grave. Their death shall be their shepherd, and the just shall become their rulers. But the morning their outward show vanishes, and the grave becomes their home. But God will ransom me from death and take my soul to himself. Then do not fear when a man grows rich, when the glory of his house increases. He takes nothing with him when he dies. His glory does not follow him below. Though he flattered himself while he lived, men will praise me for all my success. Yet he will go to join his fathers who will never see the light any more. In his riches he lacks wisdom. He is like the beast that are destroyed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You condemn the rich, Lord Jesus, because they have already received their reward. And you proclaim the poor blessed, because the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Teach us to seek for imperishable goods, and to have confidence in your blood, poured out as the price of our redemption. Deliver me, Lord, and place me at your side. Then let whoever will lift his hand to strike me. You were slain, Lord, and by your blood you ransomed us for God. O Lord our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and praise and power. For you have created all things. By your will they came to be and were made. 
Worthy are you, O Lord, to receive the scroll and break open its seals. For you were slain. With your blood you purchased for God men of every race and tongue, of every people and nation. You made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain, to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You were slain, Lord, and by your blood you ransomed us for God. A reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 1. God singled out the weak of this world to shame the strong. He chose the world's lowborn and despised, those who count for nothing, to reduce to nothing those who were something, so that mankind can do no boasting before God. God it is who has given you life in Jesus Christ. He has made him our wisdom, and also our justice, our sanctification, and our redemption. We worship you, O Christ, and we praise you. We worship you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your cross you have redeemed the world, we praise you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We worship you, O Christ, and we praise you. I have power to lay down my life, and I have power to take it up again. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and to his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I have power to lay down my life, and I have power to take it up again. The Savior of mankind, by dying, destroyed death, and by rising again, restored life. Let us humbly ask him, sanctify your people, redeemed by your blood. Redeemer of the world, Give us a greater share of your passion through a deeper spirit of repentance so that we may share the glory of your resurrection. Sanctify your people redeemed by your blood. May your mother, comfort of the afflicted, protect us. May we console others as we or as you console us. Sanctify your people redeemed by your blood. In their trials, enable your faithful people to share in your passion, and so reveal in their lives your saving power. Sanctify your people, redeemed by your blood. You humbled yourself by being obedient even to accepting death, death on a cross. Give all who serve you the gifts of obedience and patience and endurance. Sanctify your people, redeemed by your blood. Transform the bodies of the dead to be like your own in glory and bring us at, at last into your fellowship. Sanctify your people redeemed by your blood. Let us again offer our praise to God and pray in the words of Christ. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, may we receive your forgiveness and mercy, 
as we celebrate the passion and death of the Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.